Hi, my name is Balwinda and I have been practicing ENT for almost 25 years. Sleep apnea is a disease that affects a minimum 4 to 8 percent of the population of the world and has serious health consequences. There are two main options for its treatment and CPAP, which is the non-surgical option, is generally not acceptable to a significant number of patients as can be seen from this article and many more which shows that the usage after purchasing it is between 50 to 70 percent only and even then not on a daily basis. Quite a number of patients are put off by the need to wear a mask attached to a hose every night and the driving force for making this video was the false misconception out there that there is no other option or that the surgical option does not work. Surgery definitely does work but will only work if it's tailored to address the specific areas which affect the patient's breathing passage. Short video will cover the following complications if left untreated, a real patient's assessment in the clinic, the same patient being scoped while asleep and snoring and having sleep apneic spells, video of the endoscopy of the nose and throat after successful surgery, results of the patient's surgery presented in the standardized manner, patient's own description of the outcome of the surgery, a take-home message, let's get going by watching an animated video of overview of snoring, sleep apnea and complications of sleep apnea. You may skip this section and go to the next section if you are already well versed with sleep apnea. Snoring is a common problem experienced by many. While we sleep, the muscles in our body relax, including those in and around the throat. As we breathe, air flows past tissues in the nose and throat, causing them to vibrate. The sound of this vibration is what we refer to as snoring. In its earliest stages, snoring may only cause minimal disruption to sleep. Chronic snoring can interrupt and reduce the quality of sleep for someone, as well as those around them. People who sleep next to a chronic snorer can lose on average one hour of sleep each night. Sleep apnea is a potentially serious disorder in which breathing during sleep repeatedly becomes too shallow or stops altogether. The most common type of sleep apnea is called obstructive sleep apnea and occurs when the muscles and soft tissue in the back of the throat relax during sleep. This causes a narrowing or obstruction of the airway during which breathing momentarily stops. The most common signs and symptoms of obstructive and central sleep apneas include loud snoring, difficulty staying asleep, fatigue during the day, morning headache, impaired cognitive function, awakening with a dry mouth or sore throat, irritability, cardiac irregularity, pulmonary complications, acid reflux, and attention problems. Very commonly, the uvula and soft palate are the source of snoring and airway obstruction. The uvula is the soft tissue that hangs down from the roof of the mouth. Both the soft palate and the uvula consist of complex muscles covered by a mucous membrane. In patients with snoring or sleep apnea, the uvula is either too long or too thick, which may result in obstruction of the airway. Uvula palatopharyngoplasty, also known as UPPP, is designed to treat excessive tissue of the soft palate and or uvula that is blocking the airway. In order to determine which palatal surgery is best for you, your doctor will need to evaluate your airway. Our surgical philosophy is to offer the technique which provides the best outcome. So, we customize our surgical plan based upon your pattern of airway obstruction. This is an endoscopy of the patient's throat and you can see that he has what is known in layman's term a crowded throat, a long and thick uvula in the middle which is highlighted in lime green color. 
Side walls of the throat collapsing inwards, highlighted in crimson color, basically leaving him with only 20 to 30 percent of space normally present in a human throat highlighted in aqua blue color. It is pretty obvious that the throat of this patient is definitely causing him to snore and choke at night resulting in sleep apnea. The endoscopy of his nose also showed him to be having two more major problems, one being a deviated nasal septum on the left and secondly a severe compensatory hypertrophy of the inferior turbinate on the right. So by the examination in the clinic itself, we already know that the patient has two major areas where his airflow is significantly affected when he breathes, that is the nose and the throat, upper part of the throat. Therefore, by just doing a good clinical examination, an experienced ENT surgeon is able to accurately pinpoint the causative factors, but that's in the clinic while the patient is awake. What happens when the patient is asleep? What is actually happening to the air passages when the patient is asleep? We can get an idea of this by doing what is known as a drug-induced sleep endoscopy dice as in short term. Here my scope is at the position you see in the top left hand corner looking down the throat. You can see how there is collapse at this area with the uvula and the soft palate collapsing back onto the throat and the sides of the throat are collapsing inwards to the center. Proceed further down the throat with the scope to see if there is a blockage at the tongue level which is difficult to establish in the clinic. In order to do that, my scope needs to be at the position shown in the top left corner. While patient is technically asleep, this patient did not have any issues at the tongue level as his vocal cords and airway are clearly seen. For those who want to know more about drug induced sleep endoscopy, you may check out these two videos. This is the clinic endoscopic video of the same patient six weeks after surgery there is an obvious increase in the breadth of his throat and a huge decrease in the size of the uvula thereby a tremendous increase in the area through which he can breathe as far as his throat is concerned as for the nose his deviated nasal septum to the left has been straightened and his turbinates reduced to size that is slightly below normal size. This will enable the patient to breathe through his nose and avoid using his mouth to breathe when asleep. This is the table of the patient's symptom before and after the surgery. And ESS, the upward sleepiness scale of 10 and above is considered abnormal and the maximum score is 24 for extremely severe cases. There is tremendous improvement in the upper sleepiness case and the degree of nose block as perceived by the patient and also a very significant improvement of the snoring and sleep apnea as perceived by the patient and his wife. It is apparent that the patient is benefiting significantly from the surgery and this is shown even by the sleep tracking device that is worn, always worn by him. The top left hand corner shows that the patient oxygen level was very low when asleep due to the frequent apneic spells he had prior to surgery and after surgery he never ever had any dip in his oxygen level at all. The bottom left hand shows his erratic heart rate while asleep which has dramatically improved after surgery as he does not choke or struggle to breathe anymore while asleep. He is excited by the cessation of snoring having restful sleep and the sleep device readings but my main reason for doing the surgery was for him to avoid all the complications listed here as well as many more which are unlisted. Complications like high blood pressure, sleep apnea can cause it and worsen it if you already have high blood pressure. The higher chances of heart attack and heart failure, the increased risk of stroke due to reduced blood flow and low oxygen in the blood, diabetes, weight gain due to hormonal imbalance caused by sleep apnea, metabolic syndrome, adult asthma, acid reflux, memory loss, depression, motor vehicle accidents are just but a few of the complications of untreated sleep apnea. The most important takeaway messages are that 
स्लीप एपनिया इज़ अ सीरियस डिजीज एंड कॉसस इवन मोर कॉम्प्लिकेशन दैन डायबिटीज ट्रीटमेंट इज अवेलेबल बोथ नॉन सर्जिकल एंड सर्जिकल ट्रीटमेंट आर अवेलेबल एंड बोथ वर्क प्लीज डू नॉट टेक डेली स्नोरिंग एंड स्लीप एपनिया लाइटली Also do not forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you liked what you just watched thank you very much